Are you an MSP struggling to find the perfect website builder for your MSP business? Heck, maybe you're a long time MSP and you are looking to rebuild your website. This is a common question, but the real question is, is what is the best platform? What is going to yield the best results for you? What are some pros? What are some cons? And coming from somebody that's built over 150 websites over the last handful of years and help thousands of MSPs, I have some pretty great knowledge on the pros and cons. I'm going to give you pros and cons of every single one of these. That way you're not like, well, I don't really know if it's right for me. I promise you it is going to cover a question that you have. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether that's sales training, marketing training, or even some business operations. Before I get into today's video, I do want to mention just one really quick thing. If you head over to our website, growth-generators.com, you'll actually see a bunch of different things from our programs, right? Our MSP Heroes membership, the launch pad, all of that. But what I want to do is bring your attention over to our podcast. And our podcast is available on Apple or Spotify. Spotify, whatever you prefer to listen to, as well as other major outlets as well. What I would ask is you go through, maybe listen to a couple episodes, and if you like it, I'd really appreciate a five-star review. We've already gotten two over there, and I don't know why, but for whatever reason, Spotify doesn't show the reviews. But if you like to listen to it on the go, in the gym, or anything like that, I would appreciate you just taking five minutes of your time to go through and give it a review. And heck, while you're at it, maybe a like and a subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. So let's talk about your MSP website. Now, I've talked a lot about what your MSP website needs, and I have more videos coming on about what you should have on your website to get the most amount of leads possible. But the first one I want to bring you to, which you've probably heard of already, and I want to give you some pros, but also some cons about this is. If you guessed WordPress, you are 100% correct. Now, this is WordPress.com. There's also WordPress.org. They do slightly different things, but it is a open framework that you can use. Now, the nice part about WordPress is it is super highly customizable, and you can go to WordPress.org as well if you'd like to grab the open source stuff where you can design and build, and truly the 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 possibilities are endless, right? It is a super highly customizable platform right off the rip. I mean, you could do so much on their framework. It's also probably the most SEO friendly platform out there. And it's not because they're better at it. It's just search engines have had more time to understand it, to go through it. And there's also what they call plugins. So those plugins allow for that customizability. So if you want to have a members area, if you want to have certain functionalities, if you want to add in what a common one is for SEO, which is Yoast, right? There are plenty of what are called plugins. It's just what you would imagine. It plugs directly into the framework. Now, I will say that there is some negatives to this, but it's super scalable and you can do pretty much a limitless amount to that. But we all know with limitless power comes with great responsibility. And truth be told, if you're going to go out and start doing it yourself, there is a higher learning curve. Now, the benefit is there's tons and tons of content online to teach you how to set up and build your WordPress website which is great, but there's also something that most people don't realize. Depending on which version of WordPress, which most people go with wordpress.org, you do need to have that hosted somewhere, whether that's on GoDaddy, that could be on WordPress engine, there could be, there's so many out there to host your actual program. There's A2 hosting, but that's an additional ongoing maintenance. And depending on what plugins you're actually using, it can be expensive. On top of that, with so much ability to customize, things get lost and it can become very, very messy very, very quickly. Now, one thing I do and I will say that I absolutely love about WordPress is if you are dead set on having a WordPress website, there are 
hundreds of thousands, if not millions of developers online that'll work in WordPress from your own country to worldwide. It is probably the most well-known platform out there. However, there are things that are not updated regularly. You have to make sure that you're pushing out the updates, that the plugins that you're using are not going end of life. These are some concerns. And while it is a fantastic platform and what I would consider the gold standard, there is a lot of work that has to be done in the back end. And truth be told, and I'm going to throw a little shade here, there are plenty of marketing companies out there that will host your website, but that's all they're doing. They're not updating. They're not making sure things are running smoothly. They're not making sure things didn't break over time. So there is that fear as well. And my job is just to educate you on what could be right and what could be wrong. And if you're enjoying this video so much so far, I should say, please give it a like, subscribe button, and a notification bell. And heck, maybe share it out with one of your MSP friends. Now, my personal favorite across this list, believe it or not, and you're probably guessing, is actually a company called Wix. And you may have heard of it. They're a multi-billion dollar company. But Wix is a fantastic platform for two reasons. I made a video a while back. You could build a website in as fast as 15 minutes. Is it going to be perfect? Absolutely not. But at least it gets you started. They have an AI engine that will run in here to help you build a website fairly quickly. It still needs some love. But what I do absolutely love is they, are, they have what's called a WYSIWYG. It is what you see is what you get, right? And you can drag and drop. It makes it super easy. It's very, very user-friendly. Their target audience truly are people that don't know how to build websites, and it's a fantastic platform, right? It's pretty quick to set up. They they make it pretty much foolproof, and you can see here kind of what it looks like in some of the editors that are available, and it is fairly affordable. You know exactly what you're going to be spending for years and years and years to come. However, we got to talk about some of the downsides here. There are two versions of Wix. There's their old editor, right, which is fairly simple to use. And then they have Wix Studio. Now, Wix Studio is a bit more advanced. Now, one website builder that I didn't put on here for a reason has a very similar format where it's their Wix Studio. You can really modify as the page shrinks, everything begins to shrink. And while that's all well and good, it does take a bit more of, of an expert to actually go through this. Now, full transparency, at Growth Generators, we built hundreds and hundreds of websites, many of them on Wix. We are a Wix legend partner. We have a ton of experience with it. And who knows, maybe that'll be a service that we offer down the road. But with the, all of this, there are some downsides. One of those downsides is because you're working with a larger platform, there is limitations. If it's not built by them, it can't just exist, right? That's unfortunately one of the biggest downfalls. It has a lot less flexibility, although while it can do pretty much everything an MSP is actually going to need, if you're one of those people that likes full functionality, full customization, that's one thing that Wix truly does kind of struggle with. And while it is affordably priced, it is a bit more expensive than self-hosting your own WordPress website. The nice part is, is it does show you and it'll share with you, and I could actually pull this up for you. It'll show, show and share with you all of the things that are included, right? You have your business elite, which is crazy. You probably don't need that. All the way down to the light, the core 17 to $30 a month. If you go to compare plan features, you can see everything that comes with it. How much storage space you get to the amount of collaborators. So if you want to invite other people on your team, you can just invite them and even restrict their permissions. But there's a lot of really cool benefits. You can even sell products on here if that's what you want to do for that. And you could show more features. Features. There's booking platforms, data platforms, compute platforms, enterprise solutions, online. Pro I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Are you going to need most of these things? Truthfully, probably 
not. And they do have some fantastic, fantastic support. But you do pay for that support because it is a bit more expensive than some of your traditional website builders such as WordPress. And that's truly like my favorite platform because it allows for all of it and they're taking care of the updates, the changes. Now I will say, if you're on the platform for a very long time and they roll out something new, there's a chance that it could either go end of life or break your site. It's only happened probably once in the last, I don't know, maybe five or 10 years where they give you plenty of notice of what's going to be happening, but that is something to be aware of, but they're taking care of it and you're paying for all of those updates. And there is a huge resource pool of people that you can hire. Maybe they're a little bit more expensive than a WordPress developer because they're focused on one specific platform, but it truly is a great platform and you could start building it without paying for it until you're actually ready to launch. And their system is pretty darn good. Now the third, and you know that the last one is gonna be the best one, the third is actually go high level. Now, if you've been a longtime follower of the channel, you could you probably knew I was gonna say this, but the nice part about what Go High Level has to offer is it has everything that you're gonna need. You can actually host your WordPress website inside of Go High Level, but they also have their own website builder as well. And I will leave a link, I am an affiliate of theirs, down below so you could go grab it and check it out if you'd like. You do get 14 days for free, but the most important thing is you now have an all-in-one platform with a CRM, with email marketing and automations, and it's an excellent, excellent tool for lead generation. Their website builder has a little less functionality than Wix or WordPress, and you can't just drop in plugins as you need them. While Wix has hundreds, if not thousands of plugins, and WordPress has hundreds of thousands of plugins, you're pretty confined to what's possible inside of Go High Level. But if you're one of those people that likes everything all in one umbrella, it could work really, really well for you. Yeah, the design is a little, little more confined and you don't have as much freedom and flexibility, but the nice part is, is there's a good focus on marketing, which is something that WordPress and Wix don't offer. Wix does have the ability to do some marketing in there, but having it all inside of going, go high level allows you to not have to go from one platform to the next platform to make things work. Truly, in my opinion, if you're looking for the easiest, cheapest route, spending the $97 it is for Go High Level is worth its weight in gold because you can send out all of your email marketing. You can build your website, your landing pages, all under one umbrella, whereas there's no additional payments that you really have to worry about inside of there. And number four, if you are looking for the easiest way to build your MSP website, we have a bunch of free tools inside of our MSP Heroes membership. Now, yes, they're inside of it, but there's no additional charge for that. We have Wix templates, we have uh, Go High Level templates, and we're even working on some potential WordPress templates down the road. And if you'd like to check that out, once again, growth-generators.com, over at the top of the page, you can see our programs. But the nice part is, is we have already pre-built out a ton of landing pages for you, a ton of automations for you, all built into Go High Level, and it comes with your membership. So if you're thinking about doing it and you're like, hey, you know what, maybe it's something I should check out, MSP Heroes might be the best solution for you. And if you're not sure, you wanna have a conversation about it, head over to our website, hit the Contact Us button, and go from there. Now, I do wanna have a quick notable mention because there is one more website builder out there that I truly do love, but I haven't built a website on it in a while, and that's Squarespace. Now, the nice part about Squarespace is it's very much like Wix. It's all built into one platform. The, the editor looks pretty darn good. There's plenty of templates that you can choose from, just like in Wix and WordPress and Go High Level, right? You can create an online store, grow your audience, but it's just another great platform to build websites on. It's fairly simple. I would even argue to say it's probably the easiest website editor out of all of them, but because it's the easiest, there is some 
difficulties you're going to have with integrating, with really scaling it out the way that you want to scale it out. But overall, Squarespace is a fantastic program as well. Now, things that I would stay away from if you are going out and you're thinking about building a new website for your MSP. If you're looking at Weebly, Weebly just got bought by Square. They are focused much, much more on selling products online, and they're competing with Shopify. Weebly slash Square and Shopify are great platforms for what they do. However, if you're building an MSP website, I would highly recommend avoiding those platforms at all costs. They're just not built for the MSP world. And truth be told, while they are great platforms, you're not selling products all day. You're, it's not your main goal. You're trying to get new leads to come in so you can sell them managed services. And trust me, no matter how many times you wish it would happen, people aren't going to go to your website and buy a monthly package directly from there, especially if it's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. They're going to want to see and speak to you, right? The person from the MSP that can help educate them on what they're getting, how they're getting it, what's actually involved in that whole process. That way they can make a decision to move forward. So I've given you a ton of information to digest in this video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, I would really appreciate a like button, a subscribe button, notification bell. If you'd like to check out the podcast, the MSP Heroes podcast, you can head over to the website. It's available on top. We would genuinely appreciate you taking a couple minutes just to just leave a review, especially if you like listening to the podcasts on the road. Other than that, love the heck out of you guys as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then.